Hey, I want to make a very quick, very specific video here today for my viewers. Over the years, a lot of people have asked me how to properly grip a Kiapa Rhino. They know I love my Kiapa Rhino. And today I got an email from someone who sent me a picture of their damaged thumb. Thanks a lot for that, by the way, where they shot their Kiapa Rhino with an improper grip, most likely a thumbs forward grip. So today I thought I'd take a real quick minute here and show you how to properly grip a Kiapa. When you grip a Kiapa, you definitely cannot do a thumbs forward grip because all of the explosive energy comes from right here, the bottom part of the cylinder. And that little channel down there channels it right into your thumb if you're doing a thumbs forward grip. It can actually blow off the end of your thumb. I've seen it happen. So when you're gripping the Kiapa, make sure that instead of putting this thumb forward like you would on a semi-automatic gun, you tuck it all the way down. Then when you put your other hand on like you were going to do a thumbs forward grip, instead of putting it forward, you put it on top of your other thumb. It should come right into that little ledge right there on the gun. Once you do that, you've got a proper grip on your Kiapa. You can actually fire your gun. You don't have to worry about blowing your thumbs off. So that is how you grip a Kiapa Rhino. Hey, today I want to make a very specific... Why am I holding like fucking Charlie's Angels? Where they severely burnt the image uh, into the... Ah! Don't hold it like fucking Charlie... Uh, when, you got, when you grip a Kiapa Rhino, you cannot use a thumbs forward grip. I got a good... Why can't I fucking talk? Uh, a lot of people have asked me in the past how to properly grip a Kiapa Rhino... 